Hello and welcome to this Infinite Run Engine tutorial. I'm Rano from Amontens and today we're going to see together how events work in the Infinite Run Engine. Um, events in their current form were introduced in version 1.3 of the engine and uh, which now includes its own event manager system. Events are messages broadcasted by a class in your application that can be caught by any listening class so it can take action. So for example, uh, let's consider you have an enemy in your level and when your character kills it uh, all the other classes in the level may have a need to know that something happened maybe you need to increase the score so your game manager needs to know about it maybe uh, you need to uh, update something on the GUI so uh, your GUI needs to know about it maybe your player will change form and he needs to know about it too so really um, at some point when your game becomes uh, big enough you'll have so many classes that you won't be able to keep a precise track of what needs to be informed of something so it's really a good way to use events and say it's really like uh, climbing on a roof and, and yelling okay something happened and all the classes will know about it all the classes that, that want to listen that is um, so you'll have classes that trigger events and say something has happened to me or something has happened in general and other classes that listen to these kinds of events you can have really a lot of different kinds of events and um, when they hear that something happened they'll do something about it to learn more about events uh, a good thing to do a good thing to do is to have a look at the MM Event Manager class, which is located under MM Tools here. It's really a very simple class. It's a static class, which means that you don't have to uh, uh, put it anywhere on any of your game objects. Uh, it lives like uh, outside of that. Uh, it's the only class you need to know uh, when interacting with events, as uh, really it's your single point of entry. Uh, triggering an event is very very simple and can be done in a single line let's have a look at that it's uh, done using the trigger event method here and if we look for references of that uh, for example here we are in the game manager and at some point the game manager wants to let all of the classes know that um, the game has started so for that we use an mm game event mm game events are uh, a type of events that uh, come directly with the Infinite Run Engine. They're really simple, they're just, as all events, they are just uh, structs. And this one only takes a, a string. So um, basically, here I create a new game event, or I set its string to game start. And if I look for uh, references of that, you'll see how it works to listen to that. So, uh, for example, um, yeah, the GUI manager, the GUI manager listens to these game managers event. So, uh, as you can see, it extends MM event listener. Well, it says that this GUI manager will be an MM event listener of MM game events. What this means is that, uh, you will need to implement these and these methods meaning that on enable when uh, your object is created you need to say I'm gonna start listening now to, uh, to uh, game events and when your object is disabled you need to say okay now I'm gonna stop listening to it uh, this will allow uh, the manager to know what uh, objects are currently existing and listening and if you object stops li uh, existing you need to say okay I'm, I'm not listening anymore so really don't think too much about it uh, just implement these every time you want to listen to an event and then um, what you'll need to implement is the on mm event method and you need to do that for each type of event you listen to. So if it's only MM game events like here, uh, you only need to do one. And in the case of the MM game event, we do a switch based on the name. 
and say, okay, if it's Boson, we do something. If it's Pose Off, we do something else. And if it's Game Start, which was uh, the event triggered here, uh, we will do the on game start method, which is defined, you know, somewhere else. Well, in this case, it does nothing. <laughs> so that's a really good example. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty much all you need to know about listening and triggering events. I hope you learned something new today, and I'll see you next time.